Hello and welcome to this Radio Control Quick Tip. This is a quick tip about some of the changes that are going to be happening very shortly in OpenTX 2.2.1. And it's about something that if you have selected the option when you flash your radio, you may have already come across. I have. I selected the option when I flash my trusty QX7 and when I go and bind a receiver with latest and greatest firmware in D16 mode, I get asked what kind of binding mode I want to have set up. Now, if you've never seen this before, it can confuse the heck out of you. And all of us that accidentally stumbled into this in the later versions of OpenTX 2.2 had that issue. But as of OpenTX 2.2.1 that's going to be out shortly, this is now a mandatory part of the setup. So this is going to be installed by default. And if you've never seen it or you haven't seen this video and are expecting it, it's going to really stop you in your tracks the first time you bind a new model. Now I need to give a shout out to Rav at rcdiy.com. He has lots of information about the things that are changing. I'd recommend if you're interested in seeing what's going on with OpenTX 2.2.1, what the new changes are, what's going to be different, go and have a look at his website. I'll put a link to his website here under the video. And also I'll put a link into the OpenTX 2.2.1 release candidate bits and pieces as well. Uh, they have very clearly pointed out that this is about to happen, but Unless you spend a good couple of hours mooching around trying to find the information, you might not have come across it before you flash your radio and find that something's changed completely. So there are lots of really cool features coming in OpenTX 2.2.1, but let me very quickly cover this one for you. So what is it? Well, it means that every time you go and bind in D16, by default, you're going to be asked what kind of bind setup you want. And it allows four different binding options. And those are combinations of what channels you want presented on the PWM pins and whether or not you want telemetry turned on or off. The good news is it doesn't affect SBUS outputs. So if you have an SBUS output and you have standard stuff, then you know what? You're going to be tickety-boo. So if I was going to buy in something like an 8XR, I'd normally select the default settings in something like this. So I'd have channels 1 to 8 with telemetry, and that's kind of the default X8R that we've all known and loved for a while. But if you remember a while ago, we actually did a video where I showed the different binding options and showed how you could actually bind multiple receivers to the radio and talked about the fact that with one of them you had to have telemetry turned off and one of them you had to have telemetry turned on and talked about the fact you could present different PWM channels on the different pins on the receiver. And what this is really doing is allowing you to configure and select all of that within the radio as long as the receiver has compatible firmware on it without having to reach for those little jumpers and plug those jumpers into the different pins all covered in the manuals for your X8R that allow you to select whether or not you want all these options actually on the receiver itself. Just want to make you aware of this so if you either flash a radio and by accident turn this on or you install OpenTX 2.2.1 and then you suddenly find you're getting asked extra questions when you go to bind, hopefully that's going to answer the question. All it's doing is moving all of those little hardware jumper things that you had to do with X-series receivers to turn telemetry on or off or to have different pins. And again, I'll link to the description for the video where I went through all of that in a lot more detail about my why you might want to do that but it just means that rather than having to do that on the receiver it's now available in the radio so if you change your mind want to change how things set up or very quickly add a second receiver into an existing model that you want lots of pwm controls for additional servos gimbals gear flaps air brakes scale detail it's going to be a lot easier to do in the radio so thanks again to Rav for giving me a nudge to make this video. Hopefully that's everybody pre-warned about it. And if you have just searched for the video and found it, because you've installed it on TX 2.21, now you know what it's all about. If you just want a standard setup, just select the option channels 1 to 8 with telemetry. And that will give you the default settings that you've been using for ages on receivers like the X8R. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. 
We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.